Okay, thank you, Vincent. So a very good evening to everyone. So first of all, I'd like to thank uh, Rakutens to organize this quarterly briefing again. And then thanks to all of you who are joining tonight. Okay, so um, today we will have um, four topics to cover. Then we will open up for Q&A session. So the first one will be basically on the business model summary. Second one will be on the full year financial review. Thirdly, will be on the fourth quarterly results update. Then last and not least is the business update. Okay, so uh, on the business model summary, so basically we'd like to share is on our 2021 results uh, in terms of revenue and operating profit. Okay, so you can see that the majority of our revenue um, still derived from the terminal operations, which consists of 64.6%. In quantum, it's around 89 million. Okay, so we move on to the next uh, core activities, which is the bus operation which consists of 17.4%. So in quantum is around 24 million. Okay, the last one will be the petrol stations operation, which consists of 17.9%. Okay, in quantum is around 24 million. Okay, in terms of operating profit, so 94.8% um, of the operating profit derived from the terminal segment, which consists of around 76 million. Okay, and then the bus operations consist of around 5.6%, which is around 4.5 million. Okay, so um, now I'd like to cover on our 21, uh, 2021 results. Okay, so um, here you can see that uh, our revenue basically increased by around 16% year on year. So from 119 million increased to 138 million. Okay, so the Patami also increased by around 27% from 41 million to 53 uh, million. Okay, so uh, in terms of Patami margin also increased uh, from 35% to 38%. Okay, this is due to a higher contribution from our high margin terminal operation as well as the higher patrol uh, stations operation contribution from higher fuel prices. Okay, so the higher margin from our terminal operations, this is due to majority of our costs in our terminal business have already been capitalized. Lah. So um, there's not much left uh, under the operating uh, costs, which only consists of like main power, utilities, maintenance costs, and so forth. Okay, so the terminal operation will still maintain as our main earning contributor moving forward and also our growth uh, driver. So due to four reasons. Okay, the first one will be um, higher contributions and growth from our logistic tenant business. Secondly, is further ramp up of our Gampa Putra Central as the students' population returns. So thirdly, is the completions of constructions of Vidal Central, which expected to be completed lah, by second half of 2023. So last but not least, is securing more asset like third-party terminal management contract. Okay. So uh, our company maintain a strong quarterly dividend payout with a minimum uh, annual uh, dividend policy ratio of 35%. Okay, next, uh, now we'd like to cover on the quarterly results. Okay, so um, it, you can see that it's still a resilience earning and sustainable margin recorded in fourth quarter. So we have been generating around 39% of the Batami margin from second Q to fourth Q, okay? Indeed, there is actually lower revenue and patami in fourth quarter. This is due to lower contributions from terminal operations due to as uh, there is no project facilitation fees was recorded lah, in the fourth quarter. So why is it so? Uh, why there is no project facilitation fees recorded? This is only due to the timing of recognition because uh, we have a few projects in hand. So some is at the advanced stage some is actually new, some is ongoing. So, so happened that in fourth quarter, uh, the project haven't been completed. So, but the project has already been completed in first quarter of this year. So first quarter, there will be recognitions from project facilitation piece. Lah. Okay, so in a whole year, um, compared to uh, 2022, uh, 2021, compared to 2020, okay, so um, there is only a slight drop around 550,000 uh, in terms of project facilitation fees. But this was offset 
by a higher contributions from our logistic tenants, which commenced in September 2021. So basically, they have already four months contribution from these uh, logistic tenants in terms of a certain percentage of revenue sharing. Okay. We also witnessed a higher passengers movement from these uh, terminal operations and also bus operations, as well as in, an increase in the domestic fuel demand uh, when the travel restrictions was uh, lifted uh, last year in October. Okay, so next slide is basically on the segmental revenue breakdown. Okay, in fourth quarter, you can see that uh, around 18 million derived from the terminal operations. Around 8 million is derived from the petrol stations operations and around 6 million is from the bus operation. Okay. So uh, the terminal operations basically consists of around 55% of our total group revenue. Okay, again, the terminal um, operations, uh, there is a drop in contributions due to no project facilitation fees. Okay, but there is a higher revenue contribution from bus operations due to newly awarded contracts to apply the stage bus route in Laru, Matang, and Salama district. So moving forward, we still foresee um, our company will be being awarded with all these uh, stage bus uh, contract uh, from the state government. Okay, so the last one will be on a higher revenue contribution from petrol station operation. It's due to higher mass sales and also higher fuel sales volume and fuel price recorded after the travel restriction has been lifted. 